Oh no, Xbox isn't. going on everybody how are y'all doing microsoft is not going to take next gen laying down bro they could be on the verge of a big power move to counter this ps5 it's being reported by multiple sources that Xbox is interested in buying Warner Brothers games, WB games. For those of you that don't know, they make games. They own NetherRealm Studios, the makers of Mortal, Mortal Kombat is my second favorite fighting game of all time. Street Fighter, number one. Mortal Kombat, number two. Mortal Kombat, Batman, Harry Potter, and the Lego franchises, which would give PlayStation a stable, I mean Xbox, a stable of exclusives. That's what they need, bro. The PlayStation exclusives versus the Xbox exclusives this generation hasn't even been close, bro. I've My mind has been completely changed. After first going through my Xbox backlog, and now I'm almost done with my PlayStation backlog, I'm almost to the end of God of War. No Xbox exclusive comes close to God of War, even Spider-Man. And so, this is what Microsoft's going to need to compete next gen. Exclusives, exclusives, exclusive. Now, this is a reported $5 billion deal. Microsoft has the money to do it if they see the value. But here's the thing. The only two games I would be... Really, there's only one game I'd be interested in. is <laughs> Mortal Kombat, a Mortal Kombat exclusive. Mortal Kombat would be it. I've never, never, never been a big Batman um, fan. Never. I've never been a big fan. The movies, the games, never been a big fan. And so we, if we want to compare head-to-head, -head, last gen... Sony had the Street Fighter exclusive. Time will tell if Street Fighter 6 is also going to be a PlayStation exclusive. If, if that happens, it would be Street Fighter against Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat against Street Fighter. I would have to give the edge to Street Fighter, in my opinion, the best fighting game ever. That's what I grew up on. Mortal Kombat is a close second. Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter are my favorite too. So, let's say... Xbox does get Mortal Kombat and Sony gets Street Fighter. I still got to give Sony a slight edge. And then it would be the battle of superheroes. Batman versus Miles um Spider-Man. And once again, <laughs> so that I could give Sony. I'm keeping it object I'm being objective. Um I would prefer Spider-Man more than Batman. Never 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 really been a Batman fan. So even if um, Xbox were to make come up with this five billion, that's a lot of money, five billion dollar deal. I still would lead toward Sony as far as exclusive, even though I'd still get that uh, Mortal Kombat on the Xbox. I gotta play Mortal Kombat. That's my game. But stay tuned. This is a big power move. This is still in the rumor phase, so we don't know if it's gonna happen. The Xbox event is July 23rd. If they do something. They would definitely want to do it before this event and have um, something to announce at that time. So time will tell. All right, next news item. I thought this was pretty dope. All right, we all know Ubisoft is having their upcoming event. Um, Ubisoft Forward. 
I'm looking forward to this. Ubisoft, one of my favorite third-party developers. We should expect games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which we're going to talk about. Some controversy around that game. Not just the leaked trailer, but the fan reaction. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Gods and Monsters, which is probably the game I'm most looking forward to from Ubisoft. This game looks dope. Gods and Monsters. Rainbow Six. New Rainbow Six game. Rainbow Six Quarantine. Watch Dogs Legions. Beyond Good and Evil 2, Avatar, and Skull and Bones. Those are and Skull and Bones, the pirate adventure game. Some of the games we should see. It should be a pretty good um, presentation by Ubisoft. But to get fans hyped, Ubisoft is offering Watch Dogs 2 for free, for free pro before their event. But there's a caveat: only on PC, not on PlayStation 4, not on Xbox One, and you have to get it through the Ubisoft um, um, Uplay store. They're, of course, want to promote their own store, their own market. So, Watch Dogs 2 is going to be free before their event. So, you could go ahead and claim um, the event anytime after Track Track Mania is shown to kick off the pre-show and the main show ends and so right around when the main show begins Ubisoft forward that's when you can get Watch Dogs 2 for free pretty dope can't complain about a free game controversy Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay has leaked and fans are not pleased with what they've seen they're saying that the gameplay looks underwhelming a little bland very reminiscent of Origins and Odyssey, which those were two dope games, but I guess fans were expecting more for next gen. But here's my thing for the first two years of this generation, you're gonna see next gen games being held back by current gen because developers you got over a hundred million PlayStation 4 sold, PlayStation 4 sold, developers still want to capitalize on that market. And so the next gen versions will probably just have better frame rates, higher resolution, but look similar to current gen when it comes to some of the multi-plats. You are going to have some multi-plats that will um, try to take more advantage of next gen, but same thing. It happens every generation. Don't be surprised. And the last news item, if you're waiting for Final Fantasy, II, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two to be released soon, don't hold your breath. The developers have come out and said due to the coronavirus, it has delayed, it has impacted development of the game. So it has thrown the game off slightly, meaning it may be an extra year of development, extra couple months. They didn't say how long, but they did say that development was impacted by that COVID-19. What do you guys think about, oh, wear a mask, by the way, bro. Don't be stupid. Don't listen to that, dude. All right. Um, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Bye. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at ob one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.